Zettelkassen. Zettel meaning slip and kassen meaning box. Together, slip box. A note taking method pioneered by Nicholas Luhmann, who published more than 70 books and 400 papers. And he attributes this phenomenal output to his Zettelkassen system. And if you've looked into building your own Zettelkassen, you may have been overwhelmed by the different types of note to get started. But really, you only need to think about two types of note, fleeting and permanent. And your fleeting notes are the germs of ideas, the waves of inspiration you have and jot down while you're reading or watching. You take note of them somewhere to come back to them. In books, this might be highlighting or starring or adding a note in the margins, or just simply typing something into a notes app on your phone. Notes apps and other note-taking tools are available for you to build a digital Zettelkasten. Something like Protolist can help you to create and organize a list of fleeting notes from your sources. You can collect as many highlights as you like and save them as atoms. And atoms is a layer of these highlights, which is added into your workspace. And these are what will be your fleeting notes. And then the other type of note, your permanent notes, these are the select ideas that you work up into their own individual note. And you won't take all of your fleeting notes and work them up into permanent notes. You're just taking the best ones, a select few, the ones that really resonate with you and that you want to explore further. And on Protolist, you can open up a list of all of the atoms and fleeting notes that you have captured from a particular source. And then we can create a new notes page and then drag and drop an atom or fleeting note into that notes page to make a start on a permanent note. You should give your note a title to capture the idea in a handful of words. And then in the body of the note, you should write it in your own words in a way that you could come across this note and know exactly what you were talking about without needing to refer to any other sources. Once you've got some permanent notes in your system, the next step for a Zettelkassen is to look at connecting and linking permanent notes. Adding these connections helps you to explore the different ways that your knowledge might be overlapping. And it's an opportunity to look at how the ideas that you're adding into your Zettelkassen might cross-pollinate with each other and evolve new ideas. Then to add connections to other permanent notes within your Zettelkassen, in the Pages section of the menu, we can go to this plus button and choose Link a Page. And then you select the note that you want to link to this current note from the list of notes in your workspace. And every link that you add into this current page is a bi-directional link. So the link exists in both directions. So whichever note you are in, if you've linked to it from another note, that link will also display. And so that's the three steps to follow to get up and running with your Zettelkassen system. There's fleeting notes, which you use to capture and jot down all of the different ideas and thoughts and inspiration that you have throughout the day. And then you select and cherry pick some of the ideas saved as fleeting notes and turn them into permanent notes one idea per note. And these should be standalone notes that go a little bit deeper on your best ideas. And then as you continue adding more permanent notes into your system, you should connect related permanent notes together to cross pollinate and evolve new ideas. And hopefully this helps you to get started with your own Zettelkassen system.